Hey guys, Andrew here with another installment of 2 Minute Tech, the segment where I talk about or do something techy in about 2 minutes. For today's installment, let's go over TDP or Thermal Design Power and how it relates to PC components. TDP or Thermal Design Power is the maximum amount of heat a CPU can generate when running real world applications. Well, at least Wikipedia says so. This should not be confused with its peak power, which could very well be a lot higher. TDP ratings are used in an attempt to give applications more wiggle room when using CPU resources. Programs like media encoders or converters could wantonly use 100% of CPU resources without very much say from the user. So design elements are put in place on the CPU to allow for circumstances like that. CPUs aren't the only components in a PC with a TDP. Graphics cards and even storage devices also have thermal constraints that could be breached depending on the computer's workload. It's a good idea to implement cooling solutions to mitigate the possibility of excessive heat. If the cooling solution is incapable of effectively running a system with the operating temperatures of the components within it, thermal throttling occurs. Symptoms of thermal throttling include decreased component usage. Thermal throttling of a CPU could force the system to experience application crashes, freezes, and in extreme cases, whole system shutdowns, or BSODs. Graphics cards that are thermal throttling would produce less frames in games, leading to stuttering or possible application crashes as well. It doesn't really matter how high the TDP is on the components in a PC, only that there is a cooling solution in place to mitigate the heat. Take the new AMD Threadripper chips. They're about the size of a credit card and have a TDP of 180 watts. For reference, a typical laptop processor has about a 35 watt TDP. Theoretically, it's freaking hot. Which is why, when it was released, AMD provided a list of compatible and preferred cooling solutions, most of which were liquid-based, all-in-one coolers like the Corsair H100i. That whole bit wasn't to scare anyone into thinking that PCs were fiery heat generating monsters, but I hope it sheds a little light onto why having the right cooling solution in place makes all the difference in proper PC cooling. Thanks for joining me for another installment of 2 Minute Tech, and I'm signing off.